Hey all, Trevor here with Red of the Leaf, and today is Thursday, so that means we've got a vape cartridge that we're going to be tapping into this week. We've got the Figure Citrus Craft vape cartridge. Again, we are rocking through the stuff that came in from BC, guys. I'm really excited to tap into this and try it out. We're going to get the intro running and through here for you guys first, and then we're going to tap into this vape. So... See you guys on the other side of the intro when we got a little bit more information and we actually start being able to try this vape, y'all. See you on the other side. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. So, start things off, we've got the Citrus Craft Vape Cartridge from Figure. I only picked up the 0.25 grammer because that's all they had in stock at the store. I definitely would have preferred the half gram cartridge, but the quarter gram is all we've got for today. So this little sucker came in at 70% THC with 0.1% CBD. And the one cool thing on here that I noticed right at the bottom, it gives you the option to trace, like to track your packaging with the lot number. So I did do that. I went into the figure website and pulled it up um, you can actually enter the number in there and it'll pull up all of the information and the certificate of analysis on the bud it'll give you the pesticides amount like it figure gives you a huge amount of transparent information that I have not seen from any other company so huge shout out to figure for that I got a couple packs of their pre-rolls um, that are in my golf bag as well I was thinking about doing a little bit of a review on those with this, I definitely think I might be pulling those pre-rolls up and out so that you guys can see what the, what the, um, the Trace Your Products looks like with those. Because I think it'd be better to do a separate video there. Because today, we're going to be reviewing this vape cartridge, y'all. So let's go back and read off the little bit of information that they do have about the cartridges. So they're in a glass chamber with a ceramic heating element to deliver a high quality vape every time. The best of figure made flexible, our craft cartridges are compatible with any standard 510 thread vape battery. Figure quality without vitamin E acetate, and it's available in three all natural flavors. So that being the citrus, the natural terpene, and then the mixed berry. So overall they don't have anything else for the um, for the, the citrus vape, you yeah, guys, actually. So we're gonna crack open this container and uh, see what these .25 cartridges look like. So let's break that seal, pull this open, and take our first looks of this cartridge, you guys. So we gotta squeeze that. Oh, that bottom one's giving me trouble today. There we go. Just like that. This is a container you have a little bit excessive, but it is better than some of the other ones. So first little look at this. I really do like that mouthpiece on there, that that color as well. Here, we'll turn it so you guys can take a little bit of a better look. Let's see if this, ooh, the THC sticker comes off nice and easy, it looks like, you guys. We might be able to get you a really, there we go. We'll do something, we'll pull that THC sticker off and we'll give you guys a better look at the actual concentrate in the cartridge there. It's got a really nice sharp orange color to it. I'm really interested in trying this out. So figure does use half gram cartridges, but when you got a quarter of a gram in there, that sucker looks half full already. Um, we're gonna start off with the fireside battery. I'm pretty sure, yep, we've got her set on the white marker. So we're gonna pull this little plastic stopper off. Slide this on and we'll take our first looks and taste. So that actually looks pretty nice with that gold battery on there. The gold and silver match up really well. But enough talking, let's actually take this, uh, this cart for first rip. Let's see how it tastes, you guys. We're going to start out on the light temp. We're going to move up to the medium temperature and then the high before we slide over and do the same thing through our G pen. And then I've got a couple of rigs here and the hamper adapter. Uh, we're going to be taking a couple of rips through the rigs as well and i'll be able to give you guys an overall and just an honest opinion of what i think of how this bud did or concentrate or vape whatever you want to call it 
but we've done enough talking you guys let's actually get into this and try it out cheers really easy to draw through okay guys so like I said it was really surprisingly easy to draw through this is honestly one of the best drawing cartridges that I've experienced yet wow I was not expecting that through the first one and I'm getting a almost kind of fruit loop flavor with this uh, with this tip and it's surprising me it's catching me a little off guard but all in all I'm really enjoying it you guys so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take another taste of this at the blue temperature that medium voltage and see if it changes it at all but uh, if it's that fruit loop flavor all the way through you guys this one's gonna do quite well I suspect cheers So on that medium, you get less of the citrus, more of the type of cereal flavor that you get. Almost more of like a, a honey kind of flavor. It's not bad by any means. It's not turning me away, but the lower temperature definitely had the more citrus flavor that I was enjoying and uh, expecting. But we got the sucker cranked all the way up to the red, the high temp. We're gonna try it out there and see how it does at that temperature, you guys. Cheers. It does have a really nice flavor on that high temp. But it definitely leans more towards that honeyed flavor. It's got a little bit more citrus in the medium, but not by much at all actually it's um definitely the low temp is the more enjoyable temp on that fireside battery but we've got the cookies g pen here we're gonna take it through there see how it tastes on this because i have a feeling that uh this g pen is gonna push through a little bit better flavor you guys but only way to know is if we actually try it out and uh let's go ahead and do that cheers Definitely a different flavor. Less of that kind of weedy cereal experience with the G Pen, I'm finding a lot more like gummy kind of flavor, and it's it's enjoyable. It's nice and light, but still very enjoyable. So we've bumped it up to the second temperature. I want to see if it uh, keep pushes through that way or if it ends up going more that honey route like it did through the fireside pen, you guys. See on the other side. So it doesn't go more honey, but it does subtle the citrus flavor down quite a bit. It's uh, definitely <coughs> one of those vapes that you want to keep tapping through on the lower temperature, I'm thinking. These higher temps, I find you're just burning through the terpenes a lot quicker than you'd actually be able to enjoy them. And that's that's a big disappointment, you guys. So, we've got it bumped up to the highest side. We're going to take one last rip through just the pens and see how it does on here. But honestly, I'm not, I'm not expecting much at the higher temp, you guys. The lower seem to be the better flavor saver. But let's uh, go ahead and take it through its last rip from the pen. Cheers. Yeah, it definitely just goes relatively bland and it's very disappointing that way. So, next step is to take this sucker through some rips from the bong. So, Let's hope that this adapter is going to want to work with us today. We'll get it into the rig so that it stays there. 
but we'll uh, we'll have to see. I got it bumped down to the lowest temperature. We're gonna start out through this little mini rig here, very little water, and then we'll take it through our 420 canna box rig because that one just allows a little bit more of the perk, the percolation with the uh, the shower head perk in there. Where this one's just a straight down stem right into the water. So let's see how this vape does on the lowest temp through here. Cheers, y'all. Okay, so it had not really much flavor there, I found. It was really mild and um, a little bit disappointing. But we've got the second level on the battery. Let's take it through a rip through here and see, um, see if it improves the taste at all, you guys. Cheers. Hmm, it does get more of that weedy taste. Wheat-y taste, not weedy taste, but wheat-y taste. And it's not bad, it's still enjoyable, but it's it's missing something, I think. But, we got it bumped up to the highest level. Let's take a taste through there and see, um, see if the extra temperature helps at all. I don't know, you guys, let's, uh, let's try it out. Cheers. No, no bueno. More weedy taste. Wheat. <coughs> e <coughs> taste. <coughs> okay, guys. So we've got the other rig. We're gonna go ahead and preheat the G pen this time and give it a little chance so we can really take a fat rip. Let's try it out, y'all. Cheers. Back at the lowest temp. <coughs> Definitely more citrus. I, uh, I'm gonna recommend this at the lowest temperature, you guys. Definitely the best flavor. bump this up to the second temperature we're gonna try it out through there you guys and see uh, see how it does but honestly I'm not expecting very much cheers okay guys so it did have that weedy taste again that wheat e taste but we got this pen pre-charged with the hottest temp Take for a rip and uh, see how it does through here. Cheers, y'all. Honestly, not the biggest fan of this cartridge, you guys. That was actually disappointing. It uh, it really is only one of those ones that you can. Sip on once or twice, doesn't really hit that hard, kind of leads you in a citrus direction, but by no means takes a strong flavor and, and like hits you with it. It is very disappointing that way. Um, I definitely wish it had more flavor, you guys. That's just going to be my honest review. I'm, I wish this had more flavor. But going into the high, it does have a nice light mental drift to it where like the the back of your mind is kind of loosely swinging in the wind where you can be focused on something but you've got that little voice in the back of your head going let's go do something fun kind of thing and that's really what i'm finding with this where it's i'm like oh i need to get this done but it's like you can play video games you could go golfing shit like that right like just go and enjoy yourself kind of uh 
kind of a high and it's it's nice i definitely do like that and it's something that would be very helpful if i am golfing or i am doing something that has that that focus but if some that the frustration because of the focus is there that's the better way to describe it the frustration because of the focus on the game such as golf because if you make a mistake it is frustrating especially when i'm at the point where i'm kind of that verge of a beginner intermediate i'm right on that bubble once i can roll over into the intermediate and i've got more consistency that's and that's where the biggest thing now is consistency and the frustration that comes with that being inconsistent that is and that's the thing with this cartridge kind of circles back the flavor was very inconsistent so it's frustrating i'm only gonna give it a six out of a ten you guys just because the high has that enjoyment but it's not strong enough to really blow me away and give make me want to um, smoke that over some of the other sativa strains that I have that have that mental drift effect. And I'd rather just smoke a lighter amount of that because I enjoy the flavor more. And that's really gonna be the difference between this, this cartridge getting a six or anything higher. That six marker is, you've got some good qualities, but I've got lots of shit that I'd smoke above you. And I've got lots of cartridges actually that I would smoke above this one to get this type of effects, you guys. But we're gonna wrap this one up. I. I wish it did better. I really did. I thought it would have. Citrus strains usually hit home with me. I'm a big citrus that uplift. I really do like that kind of flavor. Um, I just thought it would do better. But it didn't end up doing that. I'm a little bit disappointed. We are going to do one more rip through this little rig. Because I feel like we should give it another big rip. To give it a chance to try and bump it up. But I really don't think I will. YouTube stick around because after this last trip, it'll be your guys' end card. But for everyone else, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow with some orange cookies review from Gage Cannabis. We got the last BC bud of the week from our Take Me Home 2020 tour. A, a trip. But we got some orange cookies, sativa dominant hybrid here that I'm really looking forward to getting into. Definitely can't wait to smoke that for you guys. That'll be live tomorrow, and then 100 subscribers on YouTube, you guys have to stick around till the end card for me to give you a sneak peek at what we're smoking for that. But I'm going to smoke this, preheat it, get it down into the rig. Hope you guys have a great day. Please follow, like, and comment down below what you're currently vaping on. Cheers, y'all. Hey, YouTube. Hope you guys are <coughs> having a great day. <coughs> And enjoying the video but for 100 subscribers for us hitting 100 subscribers i picked up an eighth bc rockstar from whistler cannabis this sucker is at 25 percent thc you guys 24.99 i can't wait to tap in and smoke some of this with you i want to say thank you so much for helping me reach out 100 subscribers and we're still growing y'all we're still growing 250 is the next big marker and i'll have something fun planned for you guys when we get there but for the time being, hope you guys come back tomorrow. We've got the orange cookies by Gage. And then on Saturday, that's when you guys get your 100 subscriber video. But let's wrap this one up. Top of the corner, it's gonna be my logo. Hover over that, you get to subscribe and click that bell notification as well so that you know anytime one of these videos go live. Down below, two videos are gonna pop up. One's gonna be the most recommended for you, the other one's gonna be the me. Trying to auctioneer voices and I'm doing it poorly. One's gonna be the most recommended for you, one's gonna be the most recently uploaded. I hope you guys enjoy either of those videos or anything else right a leaf has to offer. I butchered that end of the end card, but I hope you guys have a good day still. Cheers y'all. Back later with some more content.